Chapter 7. Measuring and Reporting Inventories. Our learning objective for this chapter is to explain and calculate the effects of errors on financial statement. That's what we'll do in this video. And the next one we will look at how we calculate the cost of ending inventory and the cost of goods sold under four different inventory costing methods. And then we'll look at recording merchandise transactions. To begin with, inventories and the cost of goods sold. Inventory is often the largest and most important asset of a merchandise company. Some merchandise companies like car dealers and jewelry stores have merchandise that is several times more expensive than any other asset that the company owns. As a factor in determining the cost of goods sold, the inventory figure has a direct impact on profitability and we'll look at that shortly. Thus, the inventory figure should not be underestimated, the importance of it, that is. For example, let's take a situation. Here we have Allen Company for the year ending 20 to 2009 December 31st. Now our income statement with the correct amount of inventory of 35,000 reads this way 4,000 in sales, cost of goods available for sale, and in inventory cost of goods sold 265, gross margin, other expenses, and therefore net income. But if we overstate the ending inventory by 4,000 Sales would be the same, available for sales the same, but because of the overstatement, the cost of goods sold here is 5,000 less. Therefore, the gross margin is 5,000 more. Uh, other expenses would be the same, but the profit will be 5,000 higher because we overestimated the ending inventory. Now we carry that forward to the balance sheet, retained earnings statement would be overstated by 5,000 because the profit was overstated by 5,000. That's 2009. So we have an incorrect income statement and an incorrect balance sheet. Moving forward into 2010, that mistake is carried forward. Now, the actual correctly stated amount, the ending inventory of last year because the beginning inventory of this year, so the correct inventory was 35, but we used 40. The end result is that our profit in 2010 will be 5,000 higher than the incorrect amount. So you see, again, we have an incorrect income statement, but the retained earnings works itself out this time, the second year through. So that is the problem with inventory mistakes.